Hello again, movie fans. I am back here to do another one of these uh, uh, movie collection videos, okay, showcasing my movie collection by genres. And uh, this time it's going to be the fantasy films, you know. I've already done, on Blu-ray, I've already done the science fiction films on Blu-ray, horror films on Blu-ray, now for the fantasy films on Blu-ray, all right? So, apart from horror and science fiction, which are my main uh, go-to genres, I also like fantasy. I have... Uh, a few, not as many as the science fiction and horror, but a few. Here we go. We'll start with, and in no particular order, we'll start with um, The Golden Compass. Here you will see the title in Spanish. That's because I live in Mexico. It's called La Brújula Dorada. All right. This was the original um, theatrical version, not the later um, HBO uh, TV version, TV series version which I believe ran for three seasons. Okay, this was the original one right there with Nicole Kidman and Daniel Craig. A very good adaptation, you know, very ambitious adaptation, and they did not they did indeed have the ambition to go on uh, with the rest of the books in the, in the series. You know, there are three books uh, in this. In, they, they are based on books by Philip Pullman, there's a trilogy of them, but this is only the first one. All right, so very good, really good special effects, very good design. And I actually have this movie twice, you know, two DVD, two Blu-rays, excuse me. This one, which is a, a two-disc a a platinum series, the second disc being a whole bunch of special features. All right, The Golden Compass, okay? It says right here in the back, takes its place takes its place among the great fantasy films of all time. I do agree with that. All right. And like I said, they had ambitions for this one because, you know, they were already heavily into the merchandising of it. Here you can buy the Golden Compass itself as well as other, other pieces of merchandise from the film. As it says here in this, in this booklet that is included. Moving on to uh, Legend, right there. One of the early films with Tom Cruise. Fantastic uh, movie. Uh, directed by Ridley Scott. He of Alien and uh, Blade Runner fame. So, pretty damn good, you know. I think it has that, that uh, fairy tale quality that um, is very important to fantasy films. You know, it's got the... The beautiful princess, the evil demon, right there. Tim Curry doing an, an amazing job as the demon darkness. Right there. It was all shot on a soundstage, and it shows, you know. But I think that's part of its charm. Legend. Love this. I also have this one on, on um, DVD. Another great fantasy film. Excalibur. Which I also have on DVD, all right, based on the story of King Arthur, directed by John Boorman. And, and in my opinion, this is the greatest King Arthur film ever made. Even though um, it is, of course, shall we say, historically inaccurate, because he, nobody knows if King, Ar King Arthur really existed. But if he did, he would never have been wearing those type, that type of armor, which came much later in the Middle Ages. But still... That is besides the point because this takes all the myth, the grandeur of the Arthurian story and puts it on film. Fantastic movie. This is kind of, of I don't know if it was ever released theatrically. I believe it was. This is Imaginarium by the heavy metal band A Nightwish. Uh, the uh, heavy metal, heavy symphonic metal uh, band Nightwish. Who made this movie? Uh, that has a that does it is a movie, you know, with a with a story and all, but it includes the mu the music of the band Nightwish, from the album of the same name, Imaginarium, Imaginarium. Okay, pretty good. If you're a Nightwish fan, it's fantastic. Now here we have um, uh, three hundred, Birth of an Empire. which is the sequel to 
300, all right? I don't have that one on, on Blu-ray, but I do have this, this sequel, which I bought because uh, Eva Green is in it, and she looks absolutely fantastic. All right? Basically, what you get with the first movie, you know, with a lot of uh, great action scenes, a lot of sword fighting, cool special effects. Love it. A two-pack here with um, Clash of the Titans and Clash of the Titans, which are the the original from the 80s and the remake. All right? Both of them are on in this box set, which is basically just a slipcase for the for the two individual ones. Okay. Original Class of the Titans, you know, much beloved film. The remake, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good as well. Okay. An absolute classic. The Dark Crystal. All right. Just there has never been anything like it, like it before or since. All right, just had a completely original story, original that not only just like we've never seen it before, but the, the production design, the design of the creatures, the design of, of um, you know, because this is not based on a novel. This is completely a movie made for the, for the screen, with a, a puppets right there by a Jim Henson. And company, the Dark Crystal. Hugo, right there, with uh, Chloe Grace Moretz in a. Although she's not, the does not have the main role. This other kid is the is um, Hugo himself, and it's about has a bit a bit of a steampunk feel, but just slightly. Uh, with uh, having to do with uh, aut automatons, all right. Directed, I believe it was by Martin Scorsese. Yes, it is. Okay. I already showed this one in my horror um, uh, video, but it bears including here Pan's Labyrinth because it does have, of course, a mixture of fantasy and horror. Pan's Labyrinth, right there, by Guillermo del Toro. In um, one of his uh, Spanish language films, very highly inventive, great production design. One that is a comedy here, but one that that's a very charming comedy. It is Casper, the friendly ghost, right there. One of the very early films by Christina Ricci when she was a child. Okay, and I think and and when I was a kid. I, I loved Casper comics, and I do concur that this does capture the, the spirit of it. And also one of the very early uses of uh, computer-generated characters, you know, where, where you have the character completely be computer-generated. In this case, you know, Casper himself and, the, and the, the trio of ghosts. A lot of fun. Really, really cool design on that one also. Another super classic, you know, that has been remade, but it didn't come close to the original. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. All right. Gene Wilder there, being completely iconic. Love this film. It has, you know, almost some scary moments in it also. You know, like many children's fairy tales, it does combine um, the fantasy with some fear. The never-ending story. All right, a very um, magical movie with a, a heavily influenced by fairy tales. Okay, really cool movie and one that many people remember fondly. But mu much more so is this next film. You know, which um, a lot of people really loved when it came out. I loved it when it came out. Even though it's a musical, you know, and I'm not, I'm not much for musicals, but it totally works here. Labyrinth. Together with The Dark Crystal, I think those two movies, because this one also contains puppets by Jem Henson. But this is an absolute classic. 
just highly original, just a movie that that uh, that just created its own um, universe, you know, the its own uh, type of style, Labyrinth, which does not, uh, which kind of echoes a little bit Dark Crystal, but it's its own, it's it its own thing. The songs are great as well. I in fact have uh, a collection of several Labyrinth things. You know, I have the movie in uh, several um, versions of the movie, both on Blu-ray and DVD. I'm going to show the other Blu-ray right now. And I also have the soundtrack in several formats. Here's the other one that I have. This is the 30th anniversary edition for Labyrinth. There we go. All new special features. Remastered, of course. Comes in this... Um, Kind of one of those, you know, hardcover uh, digi packs with information and images from the movie. Now for a couple of box sets here. This one could be called Fantasy Adventure, Indiana Jones, The Complete Chronicles, that is up to the making of this video because. Uh, there is a new Indiana Jones movie uh, that is going to come out. But here are the first four, which would be, of course, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, uh, The Last Crusade, and uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. All right. They come in this extensive digipack with fantastic artwork right there from the movie posters. Fold out like that. And all the films right there. Which includes one entire disc of bonus features. Okay. At least the first three are great. I don't mind Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. You know, it wasn't as great as the first the first one, not not even close, but but it's okay. I'm not going to hate on it. All right. And finishing off with this last box set, which I've already shown in my Lord of the Rings collection video. It is uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The extended trilogy here on Blu-ray in this uh, box set. The three films, Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. It comes, each one, in their own... Uh, case, but each case has uh, four discs. Okay. One, or rather, one, two, three, five discs. Okay. Five discs here for. Let's see the other ones. For the Fellowship also has yes five discs and return also five discs so there's 15 discs in this uh, box set with the two discs being the movies themselves and the rest are special features you know i have not watched all of the special features i admit though uh, after a while, the special features kind of get repetitive. You know, they start just uh, rehashing the same thing over and over again. But still, a very worthy addition to any collection. The Lord of the Rings Extended Edition on Blu-ray. And I know they've been uh, since repackaged again and again. But that's the version I have, and I'm quite happy with it. You know, it fits well on the shelf and take up as much as much space. That's it for my fantasy films. I am going to do, I believe, the mystery films next. Thank you very much for watching, and so long.